Hello, everyone. So to start off my talk with you today, I'd like to tell you a little bit more about myself. My childhood was OK until I was around eight years old, when three major events happened that had a big impact on me. First, my parents had a very rough divorce, as my father left very abruptly and left my mother very hurt. So as a child, I took on a caretaking role for her. On top of this, my brother fell seriously ill and was in the hospital for months on the verge of life and death. Then added to this, for a while, I hadn't been feeling well, depressed, you could say. And after years and years of appointments with healthcare professionals, this was actually diagnosed as a genetic mood disorder. Now, all of these things happened in the same period of my life, and it got me to feel a lot at once. Scared, scared of losing my mind, fearful, worried, confused. I realized I needed to find a way to cope. Now, this visualization has been used before by a professor whose name does not seem available. But let's use our imagination here for a second. Let's imagine that this jar represents someone's life with different components in someone's life. There's the big objects, the rocks, which you put in first. And the rocks represent family and health. Then there's the pebbles, which glide through the rocks. And this represents social and work life. Then there's the sand, which fills up the rest of the jar, all the remaining gaps. And these are the small things in someone's life. Now let's imagine we do this reversed. We put the sand in first. Then there's absolutely no space for the pebbles, and definitely not the rocks. This taught me that it's about how you prioritize things in your life. For me, once my rocks and my pebbles were in my jar, I had a certain stability to move on in filling the rest of my jar with the sand. Now, another thing that has really helped me get through and live in the moment is meditation. And I actually did a course in meditation and learned a bunch of exercises that help me in stressful situations. I'm going to actually do one of these exercises with you today. Now, this exercise is called 7-Eleven. It's where you breathe through your nose for seven seconds and exhale through your mouth for 11 seconds. Now, I would like you to try, and I'm going to count. And take a deep breath and inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now, as you may notice, it's actually quite hard to breathe in the full seven seconds and exhale the full eleven seconds. But this teaches you to take fuller breaths. And when you're taking this breath and doing this exercise, you focus on only your breath, nothing around you. And this then brings you to the present moment, the here and the now. Now let's try it again. Take a deep breath before you try, and I'll do it with you this time. The numbers will be on the board. Now, I still struggle today with a lot of health problems, but something as simple as this jar visualization and this exercise that I did with you today actually helps me get through these tough periods in my life. Because if I make every part of my life its own object, I can only focus on one object at a time, which means I can do it to my best capabilities and then move on to the next. This also helps me focus on one thing at a time, so really the present moment. So ladies and gentlemen, the present is truly a present. Thank you very much.